Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I'm doing a live. More so because once again, it's the middle of the night. Can't sleep. That's not even a song. But um, just decided, one, to come on and say hello to everybody. If you have questions or comments or anything, like I'm just in that space. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But here really trying to talk to you and give you some information. Um, so what's happened is just like lately in the last three or four days, just a lot of conversations around people shipping and trying to do shipping containers and everything. And if you haven't seen, I actually interviewed a couple who did the shipping container and y'all don't understand. It's a lot that goes into shipping from the U.S. to Rwanda. It's it's a lot. Let me let me put like make the big motions. It is a lot. So, however, y'all strong warriors out in these streets. Y'all is the bout it bout it crew. Y'all is no limit soldiers. Y'all are the crew that um go to Waffle House after the club because ain't no stopping y'all now. People are still talking about shipping and moving things. So I'm just here to talk through that conversation um, with a lot of people. Also want to let you know um, that for those people who are asking, I am available for like consultations and one-on-ones. All you got to do is just hit me up on the email. I get that down. I also have Zoom calls once a month um, for people who are just wanting to sit down in a group chat and talk but it's very private it's only like eight people no more than that and we just talk 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 and those have been phenomenal oh my god i love the zoom conversations um but like i'm just gonna get on live and bust a groove and tell you some truths and stuff hey camise shouts out to camise who's been here i can't wait to see you girl and val um just answered your question um outfit i bought those fabric here Pretty much most of the fabrics that you see me in that's African-based now, I am buying here in Rwanda. And so it's just by chance. You should see me driving down the street in my 6 foot, And, like, they be hanging fabric outside the shop, and I be stopping, like, I got to see that piece. I got to see that piece. So, like, there's a shop that I've driven by, like, three times now. It's two pieces I know I'm going to go grab before it's too late. Um, my gosh, everybody's active. What's up? How are you doing? Thank you. I want to rock with you all night. Okay, so let me get back to this because I do try to keep the information towards the beginning and we talk at the end. So going back to shipping, like there is so much. Now, I do not know shipping costs like if I did anything, I would probably start calling around and putting estimates in the My Cousin Connection article. Um, that's a really good idea. Bam, pop, probably going to do that. So you'll see that in the um, September to October article. And um, But I have heard, so he, there's a couple of things. And if you pay attention, like I said, that shipping is a or deal. It is not just like Amazon Prime, call some people, schedule it. And then, bam, it's in Rwanda in two days. And then you're like, no, I don't know two days. It's going to be like two weeks or two months. I got it. It, it, it. It's really not like that. Because the very first piece is you have to schedule. Like, this is like the beauty shop where that one good beautician and she knows she good. And it's Easter weekend. Like, you're going to have to find a spot with the shipping container people because the containers there's like laws and legalities and stuff so there can only be so many containers out in the um oceans lakes rivers water off in the water at a certain time so just because you leave it at a certain time don't necessarily mean that that shipping container is going to leave it is on a schedule and so you have to make sure that you call ahead of time and set up that schedule then you have to decide your items and this is what i'm going to be honest with you because when i say you decide your items because i know there's different sizes of containers and so the more you bring the more space you need which means it's different prices for the containers so now on estimations these are just numbers i've roughly heard in the streets 
y'all these numbers are real so i've heard in the streets in the streets this is just in the streets this is this is this is like street talk street talk you could be paying hmm yeah a minimum i don't even get that number i was gonna say minimum of ten thousand dollars but i ain't heard nobody say that like that was just me being nice and cheap like a minimum of i've heard most numbers start like at 12 or thirteen thousand to do the process and first and foremost let me say this i shout out all my people who can hear them numbers and not blink twice because i stuttered so strong when i heard that number then i shout out to all my people whose financial gain is so strong it's an option i love you and i look up to you and then i third shout out y'all's assets because at the peak of my life when i had everything i still don't think my stuff would have totaled up to be worthy to be on a shipping container like i'm legitimately thinking like i had a nice bed and I had a gorgeous couch set. Now, the television, now we're going to talk about TVs in a second. But to actually add up and be justified, like, I think my own furniture would have laughed at me if I tried to put it on a shipping container. Like, sis, we ain't really worth all that. Like, what you doing? Like, I was just red lobster in life. You know, that's all. I looked the part. But uh, it's the same old, same old. So first of all, for my people in shipping containers lifestyle, I absolutely love you. And I need to sit down and take notes about y'all lifestyles because y'all have obviously made different life decisions than I did. And I'm late to the game, so I'm taking all notes. I'm trying to learn all currencies. I'm trying to learn all hustles and games i'm trying to learn and to be honest with you i'm just trying to open up my mind because um a lot of people talk about that and um the way that you were raised whatever like with your mindset and mentality and money and stuff so i do realize i have a lot of unlearning to do it's happening but that's it so i want to put this out there for those people who are shipping and i first say that i think that you really have to look at um what you want and what you need and in a different way like you really really do like what is it that you are bringing over um so shipping hack number one is using your flight and packing up all your stuff and extra luggages and just getting hit with the baggage fee just get hit with the baggage fee you're laughing but ain't nobody tell you like we can blackify this thing there's ways to get things done by getting it done and it ain't necessarily right like so you can definitely like just pack additional suitcases and all that other stuff and get your tail over here um but the other one when it comes to furniture when it comes to even when i'm going to say electronics or different things because um, i'm going to talk about that in a second is you're right now thinking from an Americanized standpoint, where America is the center of your understanding and your world. Um, you are not yet a global thinker, because this happened to me. Dubai is hands down one of the hottest resources that people out here use to get items. They ship from Dubai. And I don't know those prices, but I know it is very affordable um or much more affordable let me say that and like i know for a fact i have a very dear sweet friend of mine who's buying their car in dubai and getting it shipped from dubai and it was great pricing like i'm very the next time i get a car i'm doing that number for and like she hands down gave me some great insight which only 
clarify what I was thinking. And it's much better to buy from Dubai versus well, I'm not going to say that, but I'll let you know I said it right there. It's like, ugh. But like when you're talking about your furniture has to look a certain way or your style or um, and we're going about to get into the TVs and stuff. But those kind of things, um, you can open up your shopping market from just Rwanda to open up and go into Dubai and really get those things that really matter to you. And I've lived in Dubai, UAE, hands down, great stuff. You can get all this stuff and you can ship it. Um, therefore, you're cutting down significant cost and travel because now you're not doing the big ocean haul you're doing like here to here and you still going to have issues because borders are closed um and rwanda is landlocked so all of your shipping is either going to go to there's kenya as an option and i think there's tanzania as an option so your shipping is going to go there and then in normal non-covid everything why is that like non-covid is a thing now um there would just be people who would drive things over now it's a little weird so that's additional cost now um just to try to facilitate getting your stuff here but do not sleep on the dubai slash uae hustle um in order to get stuff it is really used now televisions um Televisions out here, Rwanda. Yo. Seriously expensive. Seriously. Like, and this is going to town. I'm trying to be bootleg and everything. They still coming out with some numbers like 900, such and such, such and such. Like, really, really, really difficult. Um, oh, let me stop and do this. Thank you for doing this. Uh, stop, not stop. Like, subscribe, share. Bam, hit it down, hit it down, tap, 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 like, subscribe, share, bam, tap, 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 tap it, tap it, tap it, right here, tap, 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 all right, um, the television game, so like, if people, and then when you say, okay, I'm gonna sit my electronics, number one, um, your, your, your surges, your outlets are not the same out here, so you're not going to take your electronics, and I want to talk about and I'll call it Homer, but I'll talk about it in a second. But you're not going to take your plug and just plug it into here. It's not going to happen. Number two, there is definitely different wattages. So you can burn out your appliances and stuff if they're not taken care of. Now, my laptop cord is fine. But that's because I found out your laptops are kind of used or made for international travel. So there's a special thing, like whatever the way they're built is built to be able to go into, you know, certain plugs. Now, you're not taking your laptop plug and going straight into the wall. You're putting it in to your adapter or whatever else like that. And you're working that life out. Um, so that goes to televisions and your electronics. So it's not necessarily like an easy just step one to step two over here. Possible. Because if you have the right plug-in material, very possible. However, once again, when you talk about Dubai, bring that hustle, boo, because Dubai does use, well, do they? That's a hard question now. Now I think about the outlets. So Dubai uses the three-prong, and the three-prong is very popular out here. But that's not the one that's necessarily in the wall. I just realized that. Yeah, so um, the adapter thing. So, but that's another way for you to cut down expenses is to turn around and just get that stuff shipped from Dubai, go out to Dubai. There's a lot of people who go to Dubai, shop, get stuff done. Um, have not researched how to do that. There's a lot of research y'all want me to do. Um, but I'm just letting you know, that's an option there. So for a lot of people, I would turn around and say, if you're just in love with big name items. And when I say that, like if you're, buying and you're moving and you're relocating and you have a expectation of certain things i would not be so in love with my americanized such and such versus let me at least go to um dubai and see that possibility is there because um America be lying to y'all like there's a lot of stuff that's out here that's a little bit more advanced than America and then I'm gonna be honest with you um oh 
I got stuff here. <laughs> um, I know you got some of your stuff from Walmart. It'd be okay to let it go. Like, I just don't fight with, like, family heirloom stuff. Like, that kind of stuff, yeah, you should bring over. The stuff that is emotionally attached to you. But that, like, that one, that crock pot you got on sale from Walmart, you can let that go. You get you don't you don't you don't need to ship that overseas. You know it's it's okay. There's crock pots over here. Crock pots is not just a a U.S. thing. It's worldwide. It's worldwide. There's crock pots, boo. There's crock pots. Um. So I'm letting you see say all of that stuff. So I wanted to do that. Um. For my AIC crew, assured income, y'all up there. Um. I only speak this from the heart because I know some of y'all can't sleep at night without your machine. And I forgot what it's called. It's like a CPP or whatever. Like me and my mom just call ours Homer. Like she has one. We just say you got Homer with you because Homer been part of the family for like the last 10 years. Like you can't go no place else without Homer. So when you come over here, you got to bring Homer. Um, I'm about to get you Camise. Yes and yes. Um <laughs> The um, situation is, that's the breathing machine. So you do need to have special plugage. And so if you're coming out here with that, you need to consider that. And you want to get a universal outlet. And it's on Amazon. It's a black one. It's phenomenal. You need to make sure that you have that universal outlet because the wattage is very important for you. Because if you're, um, it's a breathing machine, so it puts air into your system. And so if your wattage is not right or your, um, your counts are not right, it's going to mess up what you're doing. So I will say for that machine, you want to get the black universal plug because I think it's also a converter because you have to make sure your wattage is right. Now, can you do it out here? Yes. But should you be messing with how you breathe at night? No. So just go ahead and go straight on Amazon, get the black um, converter universal plug. I think it's universal plug or outlet. Um, and so that part is very, very C P A girl C P A P. That's it's a PAP machine. Um, girl, and sorry, I'm just, I'm a female. I'm old because I saw PAP smears. Like that's what I was like. Oh, why would they do C P A P? They need to work with the um acronyms and do some more letters because this stuff is getting too close now um speaking of let me go ahead and go through some of these questions real quick ask more questions but yeah for those people on the cpap machines and everything come with your um outlet with you because first of all y'all can't do a night just to wing it you don't wing it on no air machine you don't wing it and it's not fair to people who love you because mostly y'all got snoring problems I hear y'all at night. It ain't a it ain't a nice thing. It sounds like bears out here. Ain't no bears in Rwanda. But we we sleep walk past you. Oh, it's oh, 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 like mm, mm. You got people having to stop and do prayer for you because we don't know what's going on. Okay, let me come back through. Hold up. Val, um, congrats on your restaurant. I might have an announcement, not too sure. I do have an announcement forgot about that but i am not the one with the restaurant that is the muhammad's i just eat at it religiously no problem um <laughs> those numbers scare me Them shipping numbers is real I, I you can come to rwanda with draws and cash you can when people ask me what i miss i miss little things like I'm going to do another video, but it's not. Ah, I will say this because I am going to make a video about this. You need, this is a need that I have never said before. You need um, either flip-flops or, and this is the one I love, you want to get socks. I didn't even put them on, I showed you, but those comfy socks with the grip on them because the towel floors out here is treacherous treacherous i have a bruise this big because i slipped in the shower saw my whole life go in front of me like it was like I, oh i i was about to be out the game um and so i say that now not being funny um and, or when you first come here you need to find rubber mats because the shower like when you 
because I know how I bathe with the soap. I get the suddy duddy 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 doos. And so you got the soap and you got the water and you got that towel floor. And you try to step off that towel floor to get your towel. Those three steps be the scariest steps of your life because the towel out here, I don't know what it is. Like this is a different type of towel to me because it is slick. It's smooth. It's like marble. And so you need shower shoes or you need flip flops because you your feet can't grip. And that's it be slip and slide records. It be slip and slide records for the 99 2000. Like you slide it through and that 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 will catch you. And so the other thing that I do is um, I have asked I need to go get somebody else to bring me some more um, for the socks that you put on like those like Christmas, like thick, thick socks and with the grip on the bottom, like they had that little rubber grip. Um, because when you're just walking around the house on this tile, um, it's a hard walk, first of all. Um, but um, you, it's like the Tom Cruise when he came in, um, is it shaking on baby, whatever, and he slid in, you can slide. Like your kids is going to slide all up and down these floors and have a good time until they bust their tail. Um, and then let me see this. Um, oh, I need details about first and foremost. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. So if you're coming here, write it down, get your flip flops, get shower shoes and get the socks with the grip because all that stuff. Um, and yes, just bring you and your clothes. All you need is your clothes. To me, you don't need that many clothes, honestly. Um, hey, honey, come. Mm, kisses to you and respect and everything else like that. So, um, oh, God, there's a lot of messages. So let me get to the messages. Uh, come in. So do they have Instapots? Okay, so let me only answer, say this one thing. What's an Instapot? Because I'm not really the best cook. So the Instapot, shouldn't that be the crock pot? No, crock pots are slow cookers. Okay, air fryers, yes. And I'm only pausing because I never really shopped for an air fryer out here. And I haven't seen anybody with air frying food. But you can go into town and find it. You're probably going to have to hunt. But they have it um, because, you know, that's something that, you know, expats want. So I will say it's going to be a search, but it's findable. And yes, you can have air fryers out here. It's, it's not hard at all. Um, PAP, there we go. CPAP machines. We talked about that. Here we go. Are there any waivers on custom dues and import tax for repats return to home? No. <laughs> I don't know if you saw uh, my video or anything else like that. Um, so first and foremost, um, especially with Rwanda, when you're talking about custom duties or import taxes, um, they are by the book. They are by the book. You're getting taxed, all that stuff. And it's been stated and said. And the reason why is, and I'm paraphrasing so people can say is number one, they really want to encourage um, Rwanda-based industry. And so if you turned around and didn't have those waivers and everything else, um, you're saying that outside resources are better than inside resources. Like the fact that I'm even doing shipping and saying, oh, you could go to Dubai. I should be mentioning how easy it is to get your furniture made here. There are carpenters, there are trades. It is very easy to get furniture made here and it looks good. Um, so, um, Therefore, their import is really straight by the book. The, there's a couple of small waivers, um, which I do think agricultural gets a waiver. Um, and I don't know the other ones. Like I said, it's a whole deeper dive. But no, just because you black and you proud is not a customs tax. Like you can't be like, here's my black card and I'm coming home. And they'd be like, oh, they're going to say welcome. They're going to smile. They're going to be proud. They're going to dap you up. You still going to pay full full on the tax. Full on the taxes um, regarding that. So that was a great question, Bina. Appreciate that one. Um, commence. There you go, girl. Uh, morning. Girl, what you doing? Up. What you doing up? Well, the same. I, I, I got to say the same thing because I'm up. But I was asleep before. But what you doing? up but shout out i miss you well do i miss you i'm so happy that i got to meet you that's the first one but i just miss you just much love because ah 
I love laughing and talking when we do our tea. We're going to do our tea for show. Um, but I will say for everybody else to shout out from Oak to ATL because she's going to be changing her name soon from Oak to ATL to RD, RWF. Rwanda? No, that's money. What's Rwanda? RW. Just to RW. Um, because um, first and foremost, I love y'all. And you guys think I don't pay attention, but I do pay attention to who, who is talking and everything else like that. So meeting you guys is just a joy. Pump it up, pump it up. So yes, um, there we go. I forgot what I was talking about when I heard the oh no. So what's up, Miss Pratt? Oh, you're talking about the fall, girl. No, let me tell you, um, like the bruise was this big, like my mom saw it and she was like, Whoo. Like, it looked like I got beat. It looked like I got beat. Um, Because I'm sleeping slide. Yes, you. she could tell you, man, them tile floors. And I ain't going to lie to you. The, 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 the AIC crew, the elders be having me nervous. Because, you know, y'all stable and balanced. You got to hold on to stuff to come up out that shower sometimes. Um, what's up, business inquiries? Is this a new one? I respect this one. Much love. Much love. So, oh my gosh. Let me see what else. Greetings, and Jay. Mine has always got a recipe for you. And you changed up your picture. I love it. Oh my God, I love your picture. Um, hot pineapple, lemon, and ginger with the two aspirin type tablets. Um, got it. Um. I just, I, like, I'm just going to say I took it like a G. I was just like, mm, 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 mm. Like, I didn't really do too much pain stuff for it because um, I think my pride was more in pain. And, like, the other thing is I don't know if anybody ever had this falling incident where you're really proud of your fall because, you like, you were headed a different direction. And, like, the way that the fall should have been was going to be dire and really, really bad. So you managed to adjust your body. So your fall was not as bad. Like that's what happened to me in the towel. Cause like I was going like this. And then that's when all this in these jeans, like, thank you God for the blackness and the jeans and the hips. Cause I just rotated and that hip, that thickness right there, that little chunk, chunk of meat right there, that little thigh meat, you know, the thigh meat that, you know, when the brothers be hollering at you, they be like, mm, cause it just smack, it just jiggle right there. That little jiggle caught the side. Oh, it caught the side and it popped down and thank you. See, thank you. I'm not fit. Thank you. I'm not fit. Cause it just bounced right back. So and I didn't have no pain because it ain't no muscles right there. It's nothing but fat. It's nothing but cellulite. So it was no pain. It hurt. But it wasn't like for hurt, hurt. Like, think about if I was fit. And it hit muscle and bone. I'm out the game. Out the game. Let me get me another chicken wing on that one. <laughs> Who's saying that? Yes, the towels. It's a different. You don't understand. I have been on towel floors before. It is just something out here. Them towel floors is serious. Um. So it was this, Tamara, I'll be there in a couple months. Can't wait to live a new life. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I said Tamara when it's Tamara. Think. Yes, it's my first time. Keep on paying attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Where are we going? Okay, because I know people are asking about mattresses. So let me see. Um, You need some rice. Oh, the Instapot is for rice. Girl, oh, see, I call those things a rice cooker. Man, you right. Um, commence. I think you asked that question. I have seen rice cookers because I can't cook rice to save my life. Um, but I have seen the rice cookers. No problem. Oh, the pressure cooker. Now, I should ask my mom because my mom was looking for a double broiler. And she was having a very hard time finding a double broiler. But um, here we go. Anyone coming to Rwanda? Cousin Connection is absolute. <sighs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I guess I be trying not to always talk about myself. And um, I got told about myself, um, yeah, just a couple hours ago. Thank you to my auntie for that one because she was like, you do these things and it's great. And I just be like, I'm trying to be humble. But Cousin Connection is absolutely necessary and a lifesaver. Contact us. Um, if you're a member of My Cousin Connection or even if you're not, we have special packages that will help you uh, get Get set up, like get all your documentations together, get set up with your bank, your MTM, your Momo accounts. We will just help you get set up 
And um, when I say help you, like we're in the store with you, we're navigating, we're getting those things done and everything else like that. We will fill out your paperwork with you. We have everything up. We also go through the visa process with you. And let me stop here and say, I'm not trying to take it. You could do all this stuff on your own. You can, or we just have counselors that will help you and assist you. And we give you dinner. Well, technically lunch. We give you breakfast and lunch. And we just kind of take the ease out of trying to plan everything because it can be hectic. It can be very hectic. Um, so shout out to my cousin Connection, which is doing great things. All right, Kim, I'm going to try to answer this question. What about mattresses? I have a very good one. I spent over 1500 for it. Can I get good mattresses like here in America? Um, because I don't like lying. Mm. I have a good mattress, um, but it was a furnished house and like that was a miracle. And I have a pillow cover. I know the pillow covers were from out here. I don't know if the mattress was. Um, I've been on comfortable mattresses. You're not the first one to ask. But you know, the thing is that I say I don't want to answer is that I have not done the mattress shopping. So perhaps I really should do a video on that where I just go mattress hunting. And I'll do a video, um, but let me see if I can schedule that one because that's not something I wanted to say yes or no to. Um, I am on a comfortable mattress. I have slept on comfortable mattresses. I have been in hotels with bomb mattresses. Um, I ha like So that's the thing, but I don't know if they got those here or if they got those shipped in. And even, let me say this, once again, you can ship from Dubai. No problem because you hold it on to your mattress. Is your mattress worth $13,000? Because that's shipping. Unless, you, like, what y'all need to do is come together as a crew and then, like, each pay, ooh, I need to get my nails done. Each pay, um, like, 2000 maybe 3000 and then every person get a corner of the shipping container and you pack it up. Like, that's what y'all need to do. But, um, I will do a video for that one because that's a really, really good question. So I'll go mattress shopping and see what I can create or find. Okay. Um, tell Mama J hot. I will. She is asleep right now. Um, oh, where are we? I jumped like something. Yes. Um, Virgo season is not here. It's still Leo season. Um, but I am going to do a live party for everyone. So I'll put that together. So because, you know, Virgo's in the house. Got to shout it out. Virgo's in the house. Got to scream shout. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so much love. And so, which is probably half the reason why y'all get me doing all this research because Virgo's be known. Because we like having receipts and evidence. We like being able to say, um, what we know and like we love we don't say that's the thing virgos really don't say i told you so we look at you so you already know that we have said it in our brain and it's been sent to you but we don't want to say like we don't like saying i told you so because by i saying i told you so you just made me waste my time to reconfirm that i was already right the whole time and you just didn't listen so we have this. All right, then. Like, that's what we do because we know we be right. We know we be right. That's one reason why my cousin connection is so legit because it is nothing but um, me giving you information that I can turn around and be like, well, did you read that? Did you see that? Because it's in there. Okay. Um, hey, much love, much love, much love. Yes, sign up. Who is this? Do. <laughs> I don't ask for this. Oh, my gosh. And you see it is in the caps. She is trying to tell y'all, do not do it on your own. You will fail. Cousin Connections will keep your sanity. Trust me. Um, like I said, I had a homeboy who was texting me. I need to text him back. And he was just like, oh, my God, this is crazy. And I'm like, dude, why did you do it on your own? Like, we have counselors here. Why didn't you just, we would have set you up. You would have been straight. You would have been straight. Yes. Oh, okay. So let me slow down. Wow, Cousin Connection sounds like a great transition program. Um, so it is. We're still building. So thank you to God who's allowing all those things to build. Um, but the website is your first 
just buffer like you go through you can get articles you can get information everything's present do i discuss residency um the answer is yes i don't want us to get our words mixed up because there's residency there is let me do this okay mm, i need to eat some food there's residency and then there's citizenship residency is not hard residency comes with your visa um, once you have your visa, you are eligible for a residence card. So the residency part is not hard at all. So do we discuss the visa process? And that's the answer. And in My Cousin's Connection, we do. We give you all the information you need for free. Now, if you come to the care packages, um, you can lock down the care packages. And that's when we have one of our care managers, Emmanuel or Gloria, shouts out. And the way that y'all are moving, I might have to hire somebody new. Thank you for letting me grow. Um, they will actually do all of the things for you or with you in order to make sure when your paperwork straight. So when you go there, there's no mistakes. There's nothing left out. Um, we try to have most of the applications here with us so you can actually be at the house and fill everything out. So any questions you have, because there's certain things on there that you don't know. You don't know your sector. You don't know um, your cell. And you think that means cell phone. That means something totally different. Um, there's just information we have to make sure that we have in order to make the process smooth. And then they actually go in with you to those companies and um, are able to talk through and maneuver and know all those things. And they are also bilingual, so strong English, strong Kiarondon. So they're able to tell you everything that's going on and do it. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. I celebrate every time people come back with stuff done. It's good. Oh, where is it? Do I plan on starting a clothing line? Thank you. Um, let's talk about future aspirations. We could talk about that. Future aspirations clothing line. Oh, let's stop. First and foremost, I forgot about that. My Cousin Connection has officially launched, I have forgot to tell people this, a clothing t-shirt line that supports the work that we do. So if you go to My Cousin Connection, if you go to shop, um, we have shirts that promote what we're doing connection and i have already talked to the muhammads and they have said that we can sell a couple in their shop so we're going to work that out if you are not a member of my cousin connection the t-shirt shop is here and um i'm trying to get somebody to bring me some shirts now um but they say finding your freedom it has home it has hey cousin these are the official um the special um what i say marching dice of the my cousin connection brand which is supporting all of that stuff so then um do i start a clothing line with my fits to be honest with you if i'm going to go into design out here it is not going to be on the outfits it's going to be on furniture because i just really love the concepts i come up with furniture and i don't see a lot of furniture out here that is also um, storage minded. And that's how I am. Like I love creating pieces um, that create and have like additional storage because you always need like a drawer or something. So I really like functional pieces. And so what's happened is, is that me just making stuff for the house, um, me and the car, you know, the carpenter that I work with um, have created some really, really strong, good pieces that I just love. Like my mother's wardrobe, um, just super functional, super functional. Um, the bed that I created for her just loved it. Um, and so now I'm getting a desk done. I didn't get to do too much designing on the desk because um, it was kind of hard and um, limited spacing. But um I'm just really, really happy. So if I were to do anything when it came to design, it would be furniture because I like creating things that make sense in spaces. And I don't know if I got to think about it. Yeah, the Muhammad's, um, when they came, their daughters, um, I created the, I, the idea behind the beds. Like I came in and looked into the room, um, knowing it was supposed to be dual beds, looked at the sizing and then came back and said, okay, this is how we're going to have to have that bed set up and this is what we're going to do. And so I really did design out those furniture pieces and I will shout out um, my homegirl Patience who works with me, helps me um, in designing rooms and stuff and everything. She's helping me create um, an office space and all this stuff. And I think just us together is like, 
bomb because she actually gets my crazy ideas and then she has an impeccable impeccable style and um what happens is for me like when it comes to styling things i i get so far and then i get a block or i have a great idea but i don't know how to execute and she is phenomenal so that's just wow we've really had some really nice things that come out that are purely functional and um just gorgeous at the same time so love it um thank you thank you thank you okay where are we at Thank you. Yes. Oh, just did an article about baby stuff and toddler stuff. So just did an article as a mother and I'm about to sit here and talk to you. Huh. Okay. Let me go back. When are you moving with your two-year-old? Yes. You're going to do a lot more preparing. Like I would say, don't stress about yourself versus your child. Um, it's not, I don't want to say baby friend, it's not a lot of spaces like you're really focusing on making sure they have toys. Um, Cause like the plastic toy game out here ain't, is not bomb. It's not like, let me put it this way. Don't ask me why I have random toys and stuff, but like, look at this. Do you see this? This is their Lego game. This ain't a Lego. First of all, I can't even put it to, Lord help, I can't put the Lego together. But, like, I don't know if you can see because the lighting is crazy. But, like, you can do Legos. But it's like, this is the Chinese version of Lego. And so, it's just something about it. So, you can still do it. Um, but, one, the games out here are expensive. And, um, two, and then also, um, people have said it's hard to find toddler clothing. Um like I said, I just did an article, like I was asking a couple of moms and stuff. So you want to make sure they have like the expansion. Girl, snacks. Like my mom just found, um, like you can't find goldfish, but she just found like some little small cheese crackers. And I'm telling you, people went crazy. Like other experts, like where you get those from? Because like finding snacks, but my mama found snacks and she found like little things of pretzels and stuff. But like that, but like... Yeah, that's the, I mean, it works, but then, like, that's what I say. I, I think I paid, like, $10 for just this. This ain't going to build no house. Like, you need to get a whole bunch of Legos in. So, there's a couple little games and toys, but you do need, like, just go find the article, because my head ain't there right now, but I wrote a whole bunch of stuff down for the children. We are expanding. Um, we are trying to do something. Thank you for sharing value. Yes, thank you. Look at Mac. I appreciate you for that one. Thank you so very much. Yes, um, Val, yes. Now, there's like one or two. Like I said, first, let me say, um, definitely pay attention. Um, what's the name of that one place? There's this place called the Toddler Shop. Um, and I saw them on Facebook. I've never been because I ain't got no toddlers. Why am I checking that out? But definitely survey the area and see what's needed. But yeah, um, Mamas are always looking for something. Um, yes, yes. If my, can I just shout out the number of exclamation points you got? That is respect. I feel your energy. Yes, Babel. Don't forget, because I do forget to smash the like button. I appreciate it. Thank you, all that stuff. Um, there we go. Come on, Val. We need you. We need you. Come on, Val. Come through, Val. Um, yes, Yes, girl, fruit roll-ups, the fruit snacks. Like, what's those little gummy little fruit things that you just pop in your mouth? Nope. Nope. Bring it. Bring it. Bring I don't even know if they have applesauce. I just thought about that. Got to check it. Okay. Okay. Plastic clogs up landfills, need environmental-friendly versions. Respect. Recycling business is a good idea. Yes, yes, and yes. Um... And then, um, girl, I'm not being funny. I didn't know people threw Legos away. Like, I didn't know. Like, people really throw up Legos? Okay. But that makes sense. But um, you can, I will sit here and say, you can get, there's like really great wooden toys. I don't know. Maybe because I had a traumatic brother. I don't trust wooden toys because I had a younger brother and them wooden toys would be weapons. Um, but, um yeah, they, they have stuff. Uh, 
it's hard for me to say because I don't shop like for a kid and stuff. But I'm just telling you from what a parents like I was I was in a mom's group. Yeah, I be in all the groups. JS is be trying to get in there. And those are the things that they were telling people constantly that you need to focus on is, you know, that kind of thing. Um, oh, crayons. Like they have them out here. It's just a different quality. So they were like quality arts and craft materials um, like Play-Doh and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I put it all into the article, but they were just really kind of talking about like the things that you're staple and you're used to. And I will sit there and say that even to me right now, um, trying to find a Sharpie like was really hard because I one I'm, I think I'm addicted to the Sharpies but themselves but it's and it's not the same and so like my marker game out here is just not the same and it's annoying to me um my office supply game is not the same um girl yes I love me some planting chips I love planting chips yes um is that a girl or a guy I'm sorry that was really um Jolene could be either or so that was really just um really um i forgot what that was obtrusive uh, assumptive there we go that was really assumptive of me so um that piece so any more questions um so for those people who started to watch for the shipping piece um that's that um you got options you got games you got things to do um anything else because i do have some announcements to tell you guys and um so thank you, Jolene, Miss Jolene. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it for the next live because I got to keep you guys coming back for more. Got to keep you coming back for more. Got to keep you coming back for more. More, 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 more. And I got stories. So if those are people on Patreon, I will be telling y'all some stories on Patreon because I just remembered a bunch of stuff. And it's just funny. Um, and I think this is beautiful because I'm about to go back to sleep so I just really wanted to focus like I said on shipping I just kind of keep that in this box and um, also let you guys know that we have the birthday party coming up and we're gonna have a really good time and for those who've been watching about the garden there's so many more developments I'm so ecstatic um, about the bunnies and everything else that we're doing but I'm gonna keep this one knowledge based talking about shipping so i guess in the comments below put your details and information um we're trying to just let you know but there's other options i really just say like get on the plane and buy your stuff and then i told you about dubai and shipping dubai I told you leave it sell it the best commodity you can come over here with is cash you can get it you can get it then i also made sure i told you about your flip-flop shower game shoes and um, there's a couple other things that I would say, things that you needed to know that you needed, but I'm trying to write a list and just do a video. Um, but you can find it. Oh, and then for mothers, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. And one of the things I'm trying to do on My Cousin Connection, so shout out to Mr. B, who's helping me, is create a space for us to have those threads. So I'm going to say, give me about to the end of the month because that's a different you know, page and all that stuff. We have to troubleshoot it first and make sure it happens. But we are going to create um, a space in My Cousin Connection to help those people who are driving those questions and stuff. So we have our own community there that's able to give that information. So, bye, bye. Oh, you just said hello. Hello from Cali. Hello, Colorado. Um, for the record, I got a tight friend out here who's from Denver, so you already got a sister girl, so y'all can connect. Um, y'all all stay connected. Um, I got a couple emails to respond to, too, so um, back to the bye. <laughs>